My American story starts back in the 80s when my two grandmothers immigrated from Jamaica. My mom immigrated here in the 1960s from Japan. She was looking for an opportunity that she just couldn't find in her home country. All four of my grandparents came from Holland and came over to this country in Ellis Island. I grew up the daughter of two African-American ministers, both of which were determined and devoted to serving low-income African-American communities. My parents are immigrants from Mexico. I was born in Texas. My parents taught me to love my country, to want to give back. Well, my American story is the story of my parents. They immigrated to the United States um, from the Philippines because they believed in the American dream. I was among the first students in Charlotte, North Carolina, bus to desegregate the public schools there. Change is part of our American story. And I think that by bringing different people together that have different ideas, we come up with better solutions. I mean, that's what America is all about. Progress 2050 is a new initiative of the Center for American Progress that looks at our nation's increasing diversity and seeks to create a public policy agenda that is reflective of that rich diversity. What we want to do is really lead by action in terms of ensuring that the larger progressive agenda really incorporates and integrates the perspectives of communities of color. It's important that the progressive agenda have a really strong focus on race and communities of color because so much of our constituency comes from that community. One of the big problems that we have in our country is that so many Americans feel like the American dream isn't for them. We really can't solve the problems that are facing our country unless we tap into the knowledge, experience, ideas, creativity, of the people who are experiencing those problems. We are based on the principles of inclusion and diversity and the common good. And we have to do what we can to make sure that those communities are part of the promise of the progressive agenda. America is evolving. Communities of color and our American community are really one thing. It has always been the American experience to be a racially or ethnically diverse place. This goes to the core of who we are. It's, it's the thing I think we should be most proud of. We don't know yet what this century is going to bring, but it is absolutely clear that how you manage and integrate and deal with diversity will be the core question for any society that wants to be successful. We need to find the policy solutions and policy answers and ensure that every single American feels that they have a stake. Progress 2050 means empowering them to be the change in their communities and in our country. Well, near 2050, we'll be a majority minority country. There will be no us, there will be no them. We will be Americans. And it's gonna be important that if we want that year to be something that is visionary, something that has opportunity for everyone, um, that we start working towards that now. My vision for the year 2050 is when uh, we all recognize our differences and we celebrate our differences, but that they're a core part of who we are as a, as a people and as a country. Progress 2050. Progress 2050. Progress 2050. New ideas. New ideas. New ideas for a diverse America. Progress 2050. New ideas for a diverse America. Progress 2050.